What's up, you two Flash Speaks, man? Um, you know, I would love to be able to just talk about uh, the Indiana Fever and how they won this game against the Minnesota Lynx, but, you know, um, this is what it is. Uh, Kaden Clark here in the midst of the game. Um, I just wonder how many of these dudes are going to talk about it. She does this. You see the people standing up waiting for the shot to fall. Now they see the turnover. Clark behind the back, and then Xander Lucini grabbed her. We got a lot of folks looking to signal something. Look at that. Street, all right, playing in the midst of a game. She's going after the ball. Kayla Clark takes that offhand that she always used, smacks it in the face. To the officials here. <laughs> Coach Shaw Reeves on the floor. Xander <laughs> Lucini holding her face. And we're going to the monitor. All right, first thing first, they got to go to the monitor to check the joint. Coach got to go off and they got to go to the monitor. That's number one. I think Xander Lazzini is going to foul Clark in transition. And then Clark's reaction, she grabs her and she's, she there. flings. Ain't, 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 ain't nothing to talk about. Hit to the face, right to the grill. Now, I'm not one of these people that bitches about these types of things because I think it happens in a game. And I'm willing to say maybe it wasn't intentional. But. I'm hearing too many people out here, and I don't want to hear none of this bullshit whenever Draymond Green do something, he flailing and kick. Somebody gets hit in the balls. Whenever um, damn sure Angel Reese trying to go after a ball, hit somebody in the head, especially if it's Caitlin Clark. And, oh, it was intentional. It was just thug. She's trying to do it. So now Caitlin Clark just straight up smacks somebody in the face. I want to know how many of these motherfuckers are going to step up and say something. And say something. I don't want to hear no shit about she's tired of being bullied, so she's starting to fight back. Cause you're a fucking clown, you're a you're a fucking fraud, and you don't have any integrity. Well, we already know you don't have integrity because you make up lies and you make up narratives about everything that's going on. All right, she sucked today. She was horrible. They won the day because of Aaliyah Boston. They won the day because of Kelsey Mitchell. I wonder how many of her fans are going to say that she was awful today. She did not do a double double, and it's not because she has all this integrity. She she's incapable of doing a double double. Yeah, motherfucker, she can't do fifteen double doubles. How about that? But what she can do is smack people in the face, as we saw she did right there on offense, because she's being beat up and she lost her cool. That's what happens. There's one thing I'm noticing about this player that y'all think is just uh, Jesus. She lost, she loses her cool, and she does stuff like this. And this, it is what it is. That off arm and pops Xander Lucini in the face. Yeah. And of course, Look at that. Coach Reeve and company. Three quarter in the eye, bro. Take exception to it, and rightfully so. Well, no doubt that Xander Lucini fouled Clark by grabbing her, but you're right, it was that reaction mm -hmm. when she flailed her mm -hmm. arm out. I don't, I don't, and I don't think that was intentional. I don't even know why, Monica. Monica, you ain't got to go out there and say you don't think it was intentional. Just don't say nothing. Let these people make up their excuse. This is what I'm saying. This is the thing about us black people. We are very, very um, uh, uh, reverent people. We are very, like, um, merciful people. That's the one thing about us. We, we, will, we are very quick to assume that someone's not doing something intentional, especially a white person. And I don't understand why. When you look at the history of how, you know, we, we already know. There's no reason to be like that with, with, with white people. It really isn't. But we are, despite that. Despite all the bullshit. That's just the way God made us. But taking the race out. If we keep it just straight basketball. She lost her cool, smacked the girl in the face. Now, I want to see how many of these nerds I mean, these geeks who like using video and footage and like coming up with narratives. I want to see how many of them are going to be honest about this that happened. That this girl was getting locked up during the game. She was missing all over the place. She was 18% from three. She was boinging all types of twos, all that type of stuff. And then she mad as hell. And she turned around, smacked my in the face. I want to know how many of them are going to bring this up just to even try to look like you're not a clown. To make contact with the face, but you know, get off me and you make contact with the face, that's a foul. No, no, Monica, it's a flagrant one. That's what it is, it's a flagrant. So flagrant is to the face that should be an automatic flagrant. I don't, I don't remember no other time where I didn't see there was an automatic flagrant. Play. The play is under review for a possible hostile act. 
the hell you made hot nigga? Look at the face Kaylin made when she did it, bro. Come on, man. Let's keep it a buck. Yeah, you're somebody eye, bro. I ain't never seen a situation where this wasn't a flavor. All right. You just say she raked the damn eye. Which I'm cool with. I'm okay with it, honestly. I don't think she's a dirty player. She might be, but I'm not going to say that. But what I am going to say is it should be a flagrant, period. Uh, this probably will not go in favor of Caitlin Clark ultimately, but she was fouled. What are you, what are you possibly the saying? What the fuck are you possibly saying right now? Come on, man. Stop it. What can she possibly be saying? We're talking on the bench now with... This is y'all little saint right here. What can you possibly be saying right now? You smacked her in the face, period. She fouled you, but that was basketball. You smacked her in the face. Looked like you might have raked her eyes. Get out of here. Caitlin Clark game. 3 of 12 from the floor. Yeah, hey, 3 of 12 from the floor in Minnesota. All these people came out to see you, stinking up the joint, boinging the ball all over where, everywhere. Defense on you, and you rake somebody in the face. It is what it is, bro. Six of her seven threes. The last two games, she's been amazing. And after taking a look, the officials will huddle up as we'll take another look. Yeah, man. Then I really she talk don't. shit after she did it. Then after this, he gonna talk shit after she did it. Come on, man. And listen, let's just be real. She's a goon. If you want to say that, I can accept it. I can accept it, but don't paint the picture of a, a Virgin Mary and then and then act like everybody else is a thug. No, she fits right in. She's a goon like the rest of them. If that's what we're going to do, then we're good. But don't sit here and, and, and paint all these dumbass pictures, you you little coons and all you, all you others. Well, how long you say the last challenge was? Four and a half four minutes? Four and a half minutes. This review four is probably trending that way. Quarter in the eye, bro. As well. After now, you got two black uh, officials here who about to make the call. Look at this. Look at, look at how we are. We so merciful, man. The best people on the planet. I'm sorry when it comes to this. And it's oftentimes because you have the best heart, you end up Achieving the least because you always letting other motherfuckers walk all over you. Look at this. Review after the defensive foul, we have a technical foul on the play for the contact to the face on a case. When the hell have you ever in your life seen a contact to the face be a fucking technical foul? Angel Reese throw a basketball because she's uh, upset at a call and gets a technical. They're saying that that's equal to that. Yo. I don't want to hear none of you dickhead motherfuckers talking about no DEI. I don't hear nothing about none of this shit about they trying to uh they they, they against Caitlin Clark. I don't want to hear none of that shit. Y'all all a bunch of clowns, bro. This right here is the absolute nail proof. Bottom line, I dropped a hammer down as a judge that this fucking league is on that same that bullshit and they favoring this damn white chick. And because she's the so-called golden goose. And the reason she's a golden goose because you white motherfuckers band together and you're supporting her. That's the reason, man. It's over. Get out of here, man. Clark. Indiana. Yeah, look, look, look. She don't even know what to do because it's such bullshit. She's been told by spies in the office when they got the headsets on, yo, just call the check and go out. We ain't going to give out no flavor because, you know what I'm saying, this is our rookie of the year. We're going to make sure all that shit happen. And we're going to... Like, call all types of fouls on the other team. We're going to do all types of bullshit to make sure they're in the playoffs because we need these people to keep coming to watch her. Like, that's all that's going on. Okay, Minnesota will shoot one shot, and the play will resume from the point of interruption. When the hell have you ever seen a hit to the face be just a flavor, bro? I mean, just be a damn technical, man. I'm done, man. I'm done.